Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso and today we are going to talk about a brand new FASB proposal. Uh, this proposal is a pretty targeted um, proposal uh, looking at a very specific area of focus related to equity securities that are subject to sale restrictions. Um, and this is coming from feedback that the codification seems to be a little confusing. Uh, how a particular item is being interpreted uh, leads to diversity in practice. So this was issued on September 15th uh, and comments are due November 14th. So again, pretty targeted uh, area. So pretty short uh, turnaround time for our comment letters. Uh, and again, as I mentioned earlier, um, there is an issue regarding the unit of account when these equity securities are subject to contractual sale restrictions, how that impacts fair value, uh, in particular, the unit of account um, and whether or not that impacts the fair value measurement. Uh, and this specifically looks at an example. There's an illustrative example where there, uh, there's uh, interpretation differences there uh, and whether the effects of the contractual strict restrictions that prohibit the sale should be considered in measuring fair value. Uh, and so some people apply a discount to the price um, that uh, equal, you know, adjusts to something similar. So they'll take an identical equitable security that's not subject and they will adjust it. Whereas other stakeholders said that the discount would be inappropriate based on topic 820. So first off, we do get a new definition. So uh, they do define what is a restricted security here. This is an equity security that is not registered for sale with a national, uh, national securities exchange or an over-the-counter market, either domestic or foreign, when other securities from the same class of stock are registered for sale with a national securities exchange or over-the-counter market. To be legally sold on a national securities exchange or over-the-counter market, the unregistered security must be registered or satisfy the conditions necessary for an exemption from registration. An equity security is no longer considered a res restricted security if the conditions necessary for an exemption from registration have been met, even if the security remains unregistered. Uh, so as you can see here, um, we get a new definition and they make some changes in the verbiage here. So they clarify that a contractual restriction on the sale is not considered part of the unit of account uh, for the equity security and therefore is not considered in measuring fair value. Now I will say this is not something that is um, consistent. So there are seven people who sit on the FASB board and this was a 4-3 vote. Uh, so very slim margin here. Uh, so when we look at this, uh, you might want to also read the basis for conclusions because in the basis for conclusions you can see the dissenting opinions here. So you can see um, that it says although a reporting entity must be able to access the market they do not need to be able to sell the particular security or a particular asset or transfer the particular liability on the measurement date to be able to measure fair value uh, on the basis of that price. So that's in the Exxon standard. But what they added was in bold here, an equity security that is subject to contractual restriction that prevents the sale does not prevent an entity from measuring fair value on the basis of the price in that market. Rather, they must measure fair value on the basis of the price of the market based on the value of the same equity that's not subject. Um, so again, uh, we talked about how there was that example uh, in the 55 section, in the implementation section. Uh, so they go in and they add some examples regarding the impact of the restriction, but they also edit it's the existing one that caused some of the, the, um, the difficulties here. So when will this be effective? We don't know. Uh, obviously, given the 4-3 vote here, I think it would be important for them to take the feedback. So if you have a, a particular belief or you believe that uh, potentially the uh, dissenting opinions are more appropriate here, uh, again, a 4-3 vote is pretty tight. Uh, you do want to make sure that you uh, give that feedback to the FASB so they can take that into consideration. Once they have the output, I think then we'll have a better understanding of the effective date. So this is a great opportunity to uh, show, share your opinion on these restrictions and whether they should impact fair value. And again, the goal here is to reduce diversity in practice. All right, so that's a wrap for today's Genuine Learning blog. I hope to see you on a future blog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.